Uh, um, a lot of uh, uh, information and the intelligence is uh, the Japanese government can get. So I think with this uh, 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 three items which uh, were lifted by Japanese government, Japanese uh, government can get uh, uh, many things, I think, I believe. And uh, what? That's it. Financial, financial aid. No, no. Mm. No, I don't think so. According to the September 2002 uh, Japan uh, uh, North Korea Pyongyang Declaration, after normalization, Japan will uh, have economic uh, uh, aid to North Korea after the normalization, after the end of abduction issue. No, no. After the normalization. After normalization uh, between Pyongyang and Tokyo. Koske, please. Uh, thank you so much, Takeda Sensei and Sebastian. Uh, my name is Koske Takashi uh, from the Gen's Defense Weekly. Uh, I also write for NK News. Uh, my question is Takeda san. Uh, I have a my, my journalist friend and me divided about the Kim Jong Il's character. Is Kim Jong Il, uh, Kim Jong Un is pro Japan? Uh, you know, the, his mother was born and raised in Ikuno district of Osaka, and uh, I heard Kim Jong Un learned Japanese, and also um, Kim Jong Un's childhood uh, friend uh, Kenji Fujimoto. He taught many Japanese, you know, praying. Uh, Asobi uh, to Kim Jong Un. So I think Kim Jong Un is very pro Japanese, and then he's accelerating the improving the tie towards the, you know, the solving the abduction issue, etc. Wh what do you think about the Kim Jong Un's character? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Takahashi san, my good friend. Uh, yes, uh, there is no pro Japan Korean on the Korean Peninsula, no pro-Japan Koreans. But uh, Kim Jong-un, uh, I think, likes Japanese culture uh, because uh, uh, he, uh, according to Fujimoto Kenji-san's uh, <laughs> very famous book, he enjoyed the Japanese toy uh, every year in January. Oh, Japanese people in, uh, invented uh, this toy. Oh, it's amazing, he said to Fujimoto Kenji-san. He enjoyed the Japanese toy and also uh, he likes uh, in uh, Universal Studio in uh, Osaka and uh, also Disneyland in Tokyo. He is very interested in uh, the like uh, these uh, uh, facilities. So uh, I think there is uh, no um, bias uh, on the Japanese culture or Japanese uh, thinking style. Maybe I think uh, uh, comparing to President uh, Park Kune, maybe Kim Jong-un likes Japanese culture, I think. <laughs> Other questions? Please. Uh, Takashi Kuyama, freelance. You mentioned three or five abductees may return to Japan. Would uh, Yokota Megumi san be included? Um, I would be very cautious of speculating whoever is on the list uh, because I don't want to be at the end to be blamed if I've said that this and this person comes back and the other kind doesn't come back. So it's, it's pure speculation. We've all also heard uh, that um, uh, at the recent meeting in Beijing, um, the North Korean side has handed uh, to the Japanese a list that includes 10 names of uh, possible abductees who might return this has quickly been um, renounced by Suga that this is not true. 
Uh, there is no such list. We don't know who's coming back. I mean, the Japanese weekly media, the weekly magazines have speculated about five people that may include Ari Keiko, uh, that may include other practices, but at the end of the day, we just don't know. Uh, as I don't know uh, what the investigations, or which state the investigations is, uh, and who might return. So I won't be uh, the culprit who's saying this and this person comes back, and at the end, I'm possibly wrong. So you won't get any names from me, as I don't know. But does Megumi Yokota have a special role in this? After all, she's sort of an icon. Uh, she's the face of the abduction issue. Is any solution of this issue possible without really convincing answers on her fate? Um, my answer to that question is certainly yes. And I think the Japanese government has made a very smart move in March of uh, trying to um, incorporate the Yokota family in their approach of um, engaging North Korea, which is something that wasn't the case uh, in the years before. In fact, the Yokota family were split uh, in the past between engagement and containment, as uh, the mother, uh, Saki Yokota, uh, uh, was, was very uh, close to the school guideline of uh, containing North Korea. Do not talk before any promise uh, of investigation comes. Do not engage in dialogue rest. The father was, uh, Shiyada san, was uh, very much in favor throughout the, the, the later years of, of, in fact, dialogue. Uh, time is running out, and they're not getting any younger. Uh, in fact, the entire movement uh, witnesses demographic change to its, to its negative effect. So uh, they're losing time, so therefore, um, there is pressure for, for dialogue, and the, the Japanese side has uh, correctly recognized that the Yokota family, of course, is the most, has a very high symbolic value for the entire movement. So they can, can be convinced of, of, uh, of dialogue, um, and the, the, the need for dialogue, I think the movement as such, and I might be criticized for that, um, may lose its importance, uh, its role. And I think one of the reasons that the Japanese government could uh, move forward and push for more, for, more, for more talks is that it has actually engaged and incorporated the Yokotas in March and setting up a meeting with their granddaughter, which is something that the North Koreans, by the way, have also uh, rejected. Uh, no such meeting was allowed uh, uh, only for the precondition that the Yokotas travel to Pyongyang. So it was also a move forward by Pyongyang to, to uh, allow for a meeting to take place outside of North Korea. So this is also a sign of confidence, and this is also a sign that the North Koreans do know the value, the symbolic value of the Yokota family and their uh, uh, beloved daughter, uh, Megumi. So I think there's also uh, hope that the Japanese government has recognized that and uh, pushes forward to, to use uh, and to somehow moderate the influence of the movement on that side as well. I'd like to ask something here to Takesada san as, as you've worked and lived in South Korea, um, there's also dozens if not hundreds of South Koreans who were likely abducted to the north, but there's no such person like a Megumi Yokota, there's no icon, actually, they're actually almost invisible in South Korea. How is this different? Here in Japan it's such a big issue, um, and in South Korea, one basically does not talk about the abduction issue. Uh, yes, uh, there are a lot of abductees in ROK during the Korean War and immediately after the end of war. So I think uh, the some uh, several hundreds of abductees uh, uh, after the Korean War are not so serious issue for ROK people. I think, and also Japanese government supported the, the abduction, uh, the sol to solve the abduction issue, but ROK government uh, uh, was not active to support uh, uh, abduction issue, uh, abduction issue uh, domestically. So that is the difference between Japan and uh, ROK case. And in addition, one, one thing, uh, so yes, uh, four or five abductees may return Japan or not. Uh, that was uh, the question. But I don't like this uh, speculation because uh, uh, Yokota Megumi-san's uh, mother and father are waiting uh, his daughter's return, and also Arimoto-san's and Masumoto-san's relatives are waiting uh, for returning uh, 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 Japan, uh, who are uh, returning uh, their uh, relatives, uh, their daughter or their 
their their sister. So uh, I think we need uh, we should not say uh, five or uh, uh, six uh, uh, abductees may return uh, Japan. And in addition, recently, three informations we got. One is. Uh, Yokota Megumi san's daughter may return in September or November, in, may return Tokyo. Some uh, someone said Yokota, uh, so Ungyon san, Ungyon san uh, met uh, Yokota Megumi san's father and uh, uh, mother in Uran Battle uh, mm -hmm. this year, uh, last year. But uh, uh, Yes, and uh, that uh, that was the rumor. Ungyon san may return to Tokyo this uh, autumn. And another information is uh, two digit uh, abductees uh, were uh, listed, were informed to Japanese government directly from by the North Korean government. And uh, Japanese government already got the list of the name who can return to Japan. But, it, but that is just a rumor. So my speculation is uh, some group or some government intentionally uh, handed out this information. Japanese government knows the list of the abductees who are returning to Japan. But uh, Japanese government uh, did not explain the name list for Japanese people. So I think. Uh, Japan DPRK negotiation is uh, nonsense. Please stop Japan North Korean uh, talks. Please stop Japan North Korean uh, talks. Someone or some government would like to say so. So intentionally, they use, they are using this disinformation tactics to say, oh, Yokota Megumi San's daughter is returning to Japan, or some abduction, abductees list was handed over by Jap uh, to Japanese government. But there is no basis, uh, no information on, uh, on this issue. Good questions. Uh, Siegfried hasn't asked a question yet. Siegfried Nidl, freelancer from Germany. Um, Japan and uh, North Korea sometimes um, had talks in Beijing about uh, this case. Uh, but I think, uh, is, can the Ch Chinese government, if they are happy with this kind of negotiations, if uh, China understands itself as a hegemon of, of North Korea, if North Korea wants to talk with, uh, with uh, Japan, perhaps more in the direction of normalization of uh, relations. It means to weaken its d dependence from, it wants to, to weaken its dependence from, from China. Can China be interested in this? I think it's, yes. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Spokesman of the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs said uh, uh, they are positive uh, to the uh, con uh, to the uh, agreement between Pyongyang and uh, uh, Japan last week, I think. Uh, officially, they said, yes, uh, that is true. They said uh, what they thought, I think, because uh, with this uh, agreement between Pyongyang and Tokyo, China uh, can resume the restart of six-party talks. Uh, six-party talks is uh, the uh, uh, conference uh, which had been hosted by Chinese government, and the chairman always was a Chinese uh, uh, diplomat. So China is, wel is welcoming the result of the Japan DPRK talks. And China uh, got uh, many things with this uh, uh, Japan DPRK uh, uh, relations. 
uh, I think, and the Chinese policy toward the Korean Peninsula is very much strategic and uh, tactical. China has uh, good relations with the Park Geun-hye uh, uh, regime and North Korea. North Korea-China relations is alliance uh, uh, after uh, after the <coughs> agreement of the 1961 uh, treaty between Pyongyang and Beijing, and some newspaper in Japan uh, reported China stopped uh, sending crude oil from China to North Korea. No, this is, this was uh, disinformation. There are two routes when China sends uh, uh, crude oil to North Korea. One is uh, a secret uh, uh, crude oil pipeline from China to North Korea near Tandon City, near Shinguiju City. This is a secret. Who knows the number of the crude oil uh, export? The the amount of uh, Chinese crude oil export to uh, North Korea, which has been listed in uh, the document by, of the Chinese uh, government, uh, is the crude oil which has been uh, exported from uh, Dalian City to Nampo City with a small tanker ship. So China uh, did not uh, uh, does not show the number of this amount uh, crude oil of crude oil from Darien City to Nampo from January to April. That's it. But Chinese uh, government did not write zero. No, just uh, how do you say uh, they wrote dash. So there is no evidence that China stopped uh, the ex uh, crude oil export from China to North Korea. That is uh, misinformation by uh, by uh, ROK, UNAP uh, News, and some newspapers of Japan. Okay, Christoph. Süddeutsche Zeitung Germany Neidhardt. Professor uh, Takesada, you seem to be firm, uh, sure that uh, uh, Kim Jong un is firmly in control. Now, Chang Jing sung in uh, uh, South Korea is uh, sure that uh, Kim Jong un is only a, a puppet figure of the uh, Bureau of uh, the Office of Organiza Organizational. Uh, uh, guidance of the party, so he is not in power at all, as was his grandfather in the last few years of his life. Thank you very much. I don't think so. I don't think that Kim Jong Un is a puppet of uh, of the some groups, including maybe the puppet of the uh, uh, ROK military or Workers Party of Korean uh, Workers Party of Korea. No, I don't think so. Uh, because uh, uh, look at the photos which are uh, released by uh, uh, DPRK government. Uh, uh, Kim Jong Un's uh, wife, uh, her name is Lee Soju. Recently, Lee Soju uh, does not wear the Kim Il Sung, Kim Jong Il badge, even when. Kim Jong Un and the Lee Soju appeared uh, two years anniversary, two years uh, after Kim Jong Il's death last year. Uh, Kim Lee Soju, wife of Kim Jong Un, did not wear Kim Il Sung, Kim Jong Il badge. That is a very much, very very important uh, uh, ceremony in North Korea. Uh, behind Kim Jong Un and the Soju, there are a lot of uh, VIPs from uh, Co Workers Party of Korea and uh, Korean People's uh, uh, Military. Uh, in December, after two years uh, uh, of the Kim Jong Il's death, oh, the Soju did not wear the Kim Il Sung, Kim Jong Il's but uh, badge. This means that. Uh, uh, whether the soldier should wear Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il badge, 
uh, only Kim Jong Un and the Dissolujo decide this. This means he is not the prophet. Another one, yes, please. Just want to make sure that I understand the, num the, cr the numbers of abductees. Um, I think you said that the Japanese government recognizes as, def as more or less definite abductees quite a small number, but there may be 800 or, or so. It's an enormous discrepancy. I mean, who are these other 780 people or so? Yeah, um, so you're absolutely correct. The, the official number that has been confirmed is 17, and investigations by the National Police Agency has a list of 860, of which we do not know by 100% that those are related to North Korea, but we would wish the North Korean government to look at least into it. Um, so these are not 100% assured cases, but only where suspicion exists that they might have been abducted. So if the investigation, and this is something I'll be looking forward to see how this is going to be explained, the investigation says, well, sorry, but on, the, on your list we couldn't, we couldn't find any of those to be in North Korea, um, then the Japanese government and police has to you know, open cases uh, and, and investigate otherwise. Um, let me say this. Um, Abe and Associates have um, also used the North Korean case um, and the abductions to criticize um, Japan's national police and the work of those in the past. Um, it has always been a very convenient case for um, officials to say, well, these people have been abducted and so we don't have to look into these cases in, in Japan. So. Um, this adds to it. I mean, the Japanese police and their work you know, haven't been a sign of excellence uh, over the last decade. So, uh, you know, these people have to explain also a lot what happened to these people. They have to reopen cases of people who went missing, uh, which they didn't, uh, and uh, they should. Uh, so, um, but I, I don't know how this, is gonna be, how this will be explained. I mean, if the North Koreans say, well, on your list, we have 860 people. Um, they're actually proceeding now. I mean, they're asking the families if, if we can put your name on the list. And as far as I know uh, by now, the, the, the list that includes profile pictures of those abducted, uh, and of which the family have agreed to publish those, those information, includes now 407, 407 people, I think it is. Not quite sure about the number exactly, but I think it's 407 that the NPA, the National Police Agency, has now publicly on the list. Uh, and those are, are running under the under the under the banner of um, believed to be abducted, but they're not abducted but missing people at the end. They're not they're not abducted but missing. So that's, that's a huge so difference. Number seventeen, uh, where they seem to be being snatched. I mean, uh, how do you become a definite Well, the, the the cases. I mean, we know that the the the. Um, eight people who have been declared dead. I mean, those are definitely on the list. Um, and the five who've been returned, um, they're off the list, but they're still being abducted. And then there are cases um, of, I think, four people, or five, of which Japan said they have entered North Korea. By sure, we know that, by some information or the other, but North Korea uh, denies this allegation of that these people have entered North Korea. Um, but those, and the Japanese believes they have information that they've entered North Korea, uh, have been the basis for the definition of being mm. abducted. And all the other cases are based on vague information, uh, and therefore they're not abducted, but missed, missing people, possibly related to North Korea. That's the, the terming of, of those cases. Uh, yes, uh, 800, 860 is the maximum number, uh, and uh, uh, no one said 860 Japanese uh, are abductees. No, no one. And the Professor uh, Araki-san, he's a, a leader of uh, the supporting uh, 
group on abduction issue. He's a professor at uh, Takshuk University, the same university. And I asked him, uh, how did you calculate, or how, how did you reach this number, 860? He said, oh, this is just the maximum number, he said. And two or three years ago, uh, police agency uh, found that some uh, remains uh, from uh, the uh, scrapped uh, ship near Niigata or Toyama or Kanazawa uh, and police agency confirmed uh, this uh, this fisherman uh, was died uh, accident uh, but with in, in accident accident and but his name was uh, uh, on the list of uh, 860. So I think uh, after the Japan and uh, DPRK uh, collaborated to confirm the Japanese abductees from now on, that this number may be decreased, I think. Um, when Koizum event to Pyongyang in 2002 and um, Kim Jong-il um, acknowledged that uh, a number of Japanese had been abducted. Probably North Koreans hoped that the relations would got better with Japan, but the opposite happened. It was a huge backlash. Do we have this risk again this time, or can we rule that out? Who wants to take question? Uh, before I answer the question, I think I have to also correct myself. I think in my briefing I said it's the 20th anniversary of uh, the death of Kim Jong-il. Of course, it's Kim Il-sung, just that you got the, the names straight, uh, which is basically the events are taking place today. So uh, just to add that, um, that I'm on the record for that. Um, does this risk exist? Of course it does. Um, and I only hope that those people in charge of the current round of talks have a strategy to avoid this public backlash to occur a second time this time around. I think I'm quite confident that they do. And one of the reasons is, again, that uh, Abe is the person who is probably uh, most feasible of controlling any sort of backlash that may um, come from the abduction lobby. That means those groups that evolved over the abduction cases. Um, but in any case, um, the risks evolved for Abe in the current round of talks are very calibrated. If those investigations do not produce any results, well, he can always return to his hardline course. That may also push his public support in Japan, that he's always been coherent on that. If the investigations produce a positive outcome, this will also increase his public support. So in either case, in either direction, those investigations may go. Uh, for Abe, the outcome will possibly be very positive. So in that case, the, the current agenda of Japan's North Korea foreign diplomacy is a very calibrated and calculated risk for Abe. And certainly for him, it's a win-win situation that he may actually push his public support in, in either way. So that's, that's my answer to that. Uh, backlash or the impacts or influence by the North Korean report on abduction issues uh, uh, depends upon the content of the report by DPRK in August or in uh, September. I think if uh, North Korea uh, handed out uh, uh, the, how do you say, uh, how the, the same kind of uh, uh, report or statement uh, by North Korean government to Abe government, uh, uh, there is no abductees in North Korea after North Korea investigated. No, uh, Japanese government and the Japanese people uh, will, will decide to impose uh, uh, more strict uh, sanctions against North Korea. So, but uh, this time, I think, as I said earlier, North Korea is uh, changing and North Korea is trying to uh, open up and uh, uh, open up its uh, society and to in, uh, trying to encourage the foreign investment to reconstruct their economy this time under strong Kim Jong's uh, leadership. So I think uh, North Korea will uh, hand, uh, hand out the uh, sincere uh, report uh, in 
August in September. Before that, the Japan and DPRK governments uh, were talk about this issue uh, uh, in uh, between uh, the Japan's embassy in Beijing and the Korea and uh, um, DPRK embassy in Beijing. So, by doing so, I think this time the results of the investigation were different from that uh, in the past. Well, we've run out of time. Thank you both very, very much for coming and uh, giving us this insight. And as a little uh, sign of thank you for coming, we both, we'd like to present you both a one-year honorary membership to the FCCJ. Please come back very often during that year and hopefully also afterwards. Thank you very much and thank you very much, everybody very much for coming. Uh, I'm a PhD for five years, I've been on 